All right, Sunday episode. This one's a bonus. Um, we'll try to do a quick one. All right, got the creatine. Eyeball. Let's go. All right. So yesterday, which is Saturday, um, $10,800 spread between me to Vine at about 4,800 Amazon at 5,400 only fans at nearly 400, um, fan fuel and sale health, a combined 20, uh, $210. All right. So the, what I did was we took the 4,500 divided by 80 and then multiplied it by 95. And then that's how we arrived at like 5,000 something. I for, already forgot what it was. Um, but yeah, solid day overall. And um, yeah, overall, I think we also had $6,000 in link sales yesterday. Uh, one sale from the contract and uh, a couple sales in the advised community. So solid, solid day overall um, on a Saturday. And not expecting much from Sunday. All right, we got uh, three call outs or three quick plugs today. Um, it's similar to yesterday. So one, if you guys wanna buy the partnership contract, uh, I have the template in the description below. And it's for $200, I spent like over a grand US, nearly two grand US on it. And um, make sure you get it checked over by your attorney as well. But um, that's the template I use to lock in the partners and for content ownership, so on and so forth. $200, but you get $100 back if you can prove that you locked in a partnership within the next three months. So, you know, it kind of forces you to take action, uh, accountabilities, yada, yada. Second up, we got advised community. Uh, we have a Black Friday sale right now. Um, link is in the description. Uh, we've opened it up to my YouTube audience. So please don't share the link around because typically people go through an application process. But yeah, we, you get this uh, sweet t-shirt as well from the advised community, pretty sick. Um, as well as finally, uh, if you guys are in the market for niche edits, uh, Indexy has a sale going on 20% off with the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 2023 coupon. Right, and uh, all this ends uh, Monday night, I believe. I'll, I'll probably just do it. Uh, I'll, I'll close everything Tuesday morning. But uh, yeah, so you guys have a bit of extra time. But yeah, don't, don't sleep on it. I'm not giving any discounts. Not a single discount will be given on Tuesday. All right, don't freaking ask. All right, on to personal stuff. I'm um, flying to New York tonight uh, on a red eye. I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, so annoying. Um, but yeah, it's a red eye flying at 10 p.m., arriving at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. New York time. And yeah, it's going to be a tough one. But if there's anyone or listeners who are based in New York and want to have coffee, coffee's on me, guys. I want to meet as many uh, Twitter, YouTube friends as possible. So let me know, uh, DM me on Twitter if you guys are in New York. So for the tip of the day today, I'm going to show you how I personally find auction domains off GoDaddy. This is going to jack up the prices, but Hey, um, it is what it is, right? It's better than you guys paying five to 10 X what, uh, you know, Otis pays or what SEO domains pays. Um, so their whole business model is to pretty much buy them for cheap on auctions or when they are dropped, um, they drop catch or they auction them and then they sit on it for a long time, hoping, you know, their ambas ambassador pushes enough marketing down your throats so they can sell it for five to 10 X. Uh, their business model is very tough. I looked into it because they sit on a lot of inventory. So even if you, they have like a hundred domains for at least $500 each, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to hold like a hundred domains like that. And then hopefully it'll move within the next like year or so, and then they can make their money back. But it's a, it's a tough business model and they're going to hate me for this, but I'm about to make it tougher. So first off, uh, we have to talk about why, uh, we're looking for auction domains. It's because age domains are always better to build business, ex uh, businesses or niche sites out of, um, because they have existing authority, they're just aged, they're out of the sandbox, um, way better than starting a site from scratch, always, right? That's why they have a whole business, like Otis and SEO domains. That's why they have their <laughs> business. Otherwise, they'd go broke in a, in a minute if it doesn't work. So it, it works for sure, all right? 
Um, another reason why you can do it is uh, you can buy it for 301 redirects. And uh, yeah, my, my method is cheaper than uh, going through brokers, but it's more time consuming. So you have to monitor it, but uh, so on and so forth, but it's fine. All right, what do I do? I just go to the selling list and I just sort by most active. This is like the lazy man's way. All right, if, if you want to keep doing this on um, like a daily or weekly basis and you can go through, you know, have a script that crawls everything, um, fine. I'm not a technical guy. I just throw this in once a week just to check uh, like the types of domains that are out there, right? So easy way, I, 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 I do it the super dumb way. Um, I go most active, return search is 200, copy, <laughs> copy, uh, literally copy and paste. Like I'm, I'm disgusting, right? Um, there's there's an easier way to do this, but hey, I, I, I'm just a disgusting uh, non-technical guy. I'm just a capitalist, right? So I just go here, um, select all the domains, throw that bitch into hrefs. And what I like to see is I don't like DR. DR is a great metric for indication of authority, but I don't really care about it, right? I always sort by traffic. All right, wow, amazing. So a great example of an amazing domain is the beauty department. Let's see how much it's going for. And why is it amazing? It's because it has it still has existing traffic. Um, let's see how much it's going for. 11.7K. And it still has three days left. They'll probably go for like 30K. But even if it does, this is a pretty decent domain to go after, um, despite it being quite expensive and it getting clapped. So actually in this case, uh, I probably wouldn't go for it because it's been already smashed by um, updates. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's a really... Um, hmm. This, this might be worth going for, but at, at 13K is, is a no-go for me. But what, what I do is I sort by traffic and I, I go through it each one. And then I, you know, find out how much uh, it is um, and go from there. It's so easy. School, this is a solid domain, uh, probably good for a 301, 10K expensive, but hey, we take those, right? So one thing that I found that is interesting is the ideal weight calculator. Calculator ones are great for 301s, um, like amazing for 301s. So what would I do with this if I bought this? Um, let's check their organic search. Okay, yeah, it drops off a cliff, but hey, if it there's still traffic, right? I, I would probably buy this. Let's see how much it is. It's only $1,000, seven days left. I'd pay like five to 10K for this. Um, so what would I do with this exactly? Let's say I buy it for 5K. What would I do, right? Um, I would first uh, throw up, I would use, all right, so this would be perfect for a redirect and for an ideal weight calculator, you know, it'd be, it be it could be probably good for a health site. And then um, let's say I would, first off, I would restore the site using um, archive.org via, I, I, can't, uh, I can't read this, but they have a service. They just, uh, re, uh, you can restore any site using the Wayback Machine. And then you can, Uploader using a WordPress plugin. It's nice and easy. Um, and then I would let it sit for three to six months. All right. Just three to six months. You just let it sit. Try to like um, maybe build some backlinks to it. Try to revive this site. Okay. And then what would I do afterwards? I would 301 redirect it after three to six months to a target size. For example, if we're redirecting um, Laurel and Wolf to farandway.co. I would redirect it to a subdirectory. Don't do not do homepage to homepage. A lot of people do that, but I, I, I don't like it. It's because it's unnatural, right? <clears throat> you want to see like what real companies would do with, when, when they have an M&A. So when they, when they do an M&A, um, they typically do like a 301 to a subdirectory. And then you should have a press release article. And in that press release article, all the outbound links should be to your money pages. So for example, on the far and away, it should be like, best grills for a family of four, it, like after the press release article. Um, and I would probably strip out the header. <laughs> um, that's, that's a bit sketchier, but Hey, so it's, it is what it is. Right. So that, that, that's pretty much what I would do. Um, and I'd probably buy this, uh, even though the DR is small, um, I, I, I typically buy for the traffic, right? What else? Uh, the pizza one is a good one. Auto parts is an amazing one. I'm just going off of the traffic, right? I'm not, I don't even care about DR because DR can be faked. It's 
pretty easy sports cn cn is probably chinese so i would i wouldn't touch that you know these grill sites are great for a 301 as well dental is good you could hey you could do a um directory there there's 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 a lot of like good gems here and i promise you whatever you find here will be cheaper and better than what you get from otis and seo domains um they're gonna hate me i'm sorry guys I know Otis, you sponsored me once, but um, the public has to know, all right? It's, it's a lot more time-consuming, but you save money. And if you don't have money to spend, this is what I would do. All right, you losers. If you washed up to here, please comment um, auction domains for SEO, please, in the comment section below. I, I'm probably going to target that keyword for, the, uh, for this video. And uh, if you have any questions regarding the video today, I don't know. It, it seemed a bit messier today because it's Sunday. I don't, I don't really want to work. i um, just doing this for you guys, for the comments, guys. The comments really keep me going. So if you have any questions on today's episode, comment in the comment section below and I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll be answering four to five minutes of uh, questions. So here we go. So one thing I don't get is why 23% of you aren't subscribed yet. Can you just subscribe? Um, oh yeah, I, I've hit 6K subscribers. So it seems like I'm going to have to keep doing this. Um, quick note for tomorrow's episode, um, I'll be arriving in New York, so I don't get the room until like in the afternoon. So that's when I'll be, you know, that's when I'll be doing the, the daily videos. So just, just give me some time tomorrow. All right. Um, I'll be, I'll be slightly later tomorrow, but, uh, uh, the video will come. Please look out for it. Do me a favor on tomorrow's video. If you've washed up to here is make sure you click and just do a wash through. All right. Um, just struggling right now, man. Um, I know a thousand of you guys watch my videos, so I really appreciate that. A uh, thousand to two thousand every episode, so that's incredible. Thank you guys. Um, so your questions, rapid fire. <clears throat> Missed yesterday, but back today. Let's fucking go. Notification bell on. I really appreciate that. Would love to hear more about how you get people to guest post for you. I have a site dr forty to fifty, very new, but would love to get more guest posts. <clears throat> How would I do it? Um, just have a contact form. Contact form linked to my Slack and my team just gets the notifications and then they contact them afterwards. And every time we get a contact form fill on one, one site, we pitch them all our sites that we own. Um, and guys, we do, we do, we do, excuse me. <clears throat> we do like probably 20, 10 to 20 K a month in just uh, guest posts for other agencies. It's pretty crazy. Um, and funny enough, we don't even use those pages. Uh, we don't even use those sites for our own links because it's like, I, I don't think it does anything, but other agencies sell it. So I'm like, you know, if money's to be made, so be it. Um, but we don't sell it to our own clients. Creatine scoops are now on brand. Fuck the haters. That's what I'm saying. Um, these recent videos are full of actionable, actionable advice is great cut and fuck the fluff. Yeah. Appreciate it guys. Do pages on DR50 automatically rank high? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so what I do is I check their domains and if like their site is like relatively steady in terms of um, content, then it's like a prime partnership because um, uh, that's because they probably haven't done, like put in any effort and it's like a low hanging fruit. And why do I do, why, why is there a criteria for DR50? It's because DR50 is just like the quickest way of um, analyzing it. What I like to do is I, I, I do dig into each one. It's a case-by-case -case basis because I'm not going to waste a, a month of my team's time for a, <clears throat> for a DR50 that's like artificially inflated, you know? How does the creatine taste? It tastes pretty damn good. No fall links should have an effect, but not much. So actually, <clears throat> Marco, um, I'm not sure if you're in the advice community, but we were discussing that today and there was... Yeah, there's it's a lot of controversy around uh, no fall links, but someone mentioned some uh, Sam in our advice group who has been pretty active uh, mentioned that um, a no follow link would have the same impacts of a citation. If citations work, why wouldn't a no follow link work? Because it's an unlinked mention. It's like an unlinked mention essentially, and and I I truly believe that, and I think that's true. So no follow links would have an impact. It's just lower. But, um, that also like goes, goes, uh, with my hypothesis of if, for example, indexy is mentioned in a lot of best SEO companies list and it's listed at number one every time, but it's all, all unlinked, right? I, my hypothesis is that indexy will 
have an easier time ranking for SEO companies that way. Um, what do you guys think? This is just a hypothesis. I've never tested this, but if citations work, why wouldn't this work? <clears throat> Next question. A lot of likes on this one. When building a local rank and rent site, for example, concrete, what kind of pages should I build out? Of course, service pages, location pages, but what would the blog article? <clears throat> yeah. So if you're doing a concrete site, uh, just cover literally everything under the sun for concrete. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing a live case study on one of my friends' site. Is It'll be a pro bono work, but it, it, it's good content. So that's why I want to do it. Um, and he's a good friend of mine. Um, this, I think it'll be a good guide of how you can do it from A to Z. <clears throat> Jack Link's anchor. Thank you. Um, kind of missed the mark, but thank you anyways. Love the episode. The Friday video where you answered the question and said not to use Parasite to main site. Why not? Um, the reason why is because there's no follow link. The juice is not as juicy, but, uh, as I mentioned today, unlinked mentions probably worth it. Um, it's like a, why not type of thing, but it's not something I would do. Do you do any link building for partnership inner pages? No, no, not really. It's not really needed. New camera mic. No, no, it's uh same one guys, unless you've, uh, haven't watched me in a while. Thanks guys. Really appreciate the comments. Um, five minutes is up. Um, I'll do one last one. Backlinks anchor for domains that steadily active for 10 to 15 years, BR, DR 40 to 50. I should be able to hit them pretty well with higher DR links. Hypothetically, how often would you do this? 10 to 20 links a month? <coughs> yeah, you should be, you can be more aggressive with uh, age domains um, in terms of backlinks. But um, I'm pretty huge advocate advocate of uh 80 20 rule 80 percent homepage links 20 percent subdirectory so yeah all right guys if you guys watch up to here um tonight i'm going to new york so i'll see you guys tomorrow in new york um if there's anyone in the audience that wants to meet up let's do it no weirdos please all right see you guys tomorrow